I want to run through the ultra times data field see if I can show you how it works and what it does so I've installed the data field uh, in Garmin Connect if you go from the main screen here click the watch icon and then activities apps and more data fields you can add it into there this is also where you get the settings so if you go onto ultra times data field then hit the settings button this when it loads is where you get the options I'll show you in a moment how to generate the information that you need to put in there but this race definition defines the distances to checkpoints their names and any cutoff times they might have the user definition is a, a set of targets where uh, the times that you hope to get to the checkpoints so it's just a list of times in minutes the check times tech box lets you check the data that's been uh, interpreted by the watch and I'll, I'll show you that in a moment and then you can set the start day of the race and the start time of the race so let's have a look at the information that I've put in here this is for uh, the Dorset CTS Ultra course uh, which I'm going to run around tomorrow so data fields work when you run an activity so if I go into here and start a trail run and I'm actually going to start the activity to get rid of that little uh, options panel on the top so we can see let's keep this alive if I move up then it tells me that I'm not in a race and the start time is set for nine o'clock on Saturday which is correct Saturday nine o'clock and it's currently Friday at about four o'clock so it's waiting works on real time not on the time that you start the watch so it will wait until Friday uh, Saturday at nine o'clock before it starts ticking through uh, if we want to check the information that's been interpreted by the data field then if you hit the check times button and do save then um, this changes so we can see the race starts nine o'clock and the cutoff is seven o'clock and ringstead 956 roaming four upton 1012 car park one 1125 all on saturday and it scrolls through a number of pages so there's five pages here so you can just look through and make sure that all the information is correct before you go out and do your run. So I'll switch that mode off and we'll go back to being told that we're not in a race until nine o'clock. So I'm going to fake it here. I will change the start time of the race from nine o'clock tomorrow to today, it's Friday, and I'll change it to 12 o'clock. So this is what time I theoretically started. So if I hit the save on that then now the data field is showing the information that we're interested in. So this is saying that the next checkpoint is Tynum at 22.4 miles and my target time says that I should get there at 4.35 which is in 5 minutes. And when, when 4.35 comes and goes this will move up and we'll see that the next checkpoint is Car Park 2 at 27.2 miles and I've got an hour and nine minutes to get there for 5.39. The data field will show you this information. If there's any cutoffs, this will come up in red over on the right hand side and it will scroll through this information as you run. So you can run along with the normal information shown on your watch. And if you just, if you're unsure of how long you've got until your next checkpoint or you just want to check uh, how, how everything's going, then you just show up the data field I can quickly see I've got five minutes to get to Tynum so if I'm if I've been through Tynum then great if I'm five miles away from Tynum then not so great and this hopefully will just give you a bit of an idea of how everything's going on your run